Hey there, welcome back to a new episode. In this one, we are focusing on Sundial Growers because Sundial has actually had a pretty negative week. We can see that from the start to the end of last week, we're down about 20%. Most of this sell-off is coming from the start of the week all the way down to the Friday, where we actually saw a bit of recovery on the late Friday. So the question is, with this one up about 18% on Friday, should you buy it or should you avoid it? Well, of course, I am not a financial advisor. I feel the need to disclose that one because it's obviously for my safety and your safety so please make sure to do your own research and formulate your own opinions but if you want to hear my opinions please make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already with that information being shared well let's just jump into the video yeah guys so this one has seen quite a stark recovery on the friday with it being up about 10 percent now according to google which is not too bad overall and it is kind of an indication of some more good things going into next week so sundial growers is a stock which has seen a lot of hype in the past few weeks we can see that it rocketed from about 60 cent all the way up to about 80 cent and then onto a dollar where it saw a bit of a sell-off um, to the late um, one dollar mark going from about one dollar twenty all the way down to about one dollar four and it really remained pretty flat in the one dollar twenty mark for some time before exploding even further to about three dollars in price which is of course a really big increase now of course from there we have seen a huge sell-off as people are probably taking profits i think that is to be understandable at this point because obviously if you would bought this one back at about 60 cent or 50 cent you would have made an absolute insane profit uh, so i can understand why people are selling off but right now i think this one is probably coming to an end of that sell-off we can see that pre-hype before this one got absolutely pumped and um, by a massive amount we were obviously up about uh, 33 percent up to now so things aren't too bad right now i think it is pretty flat now and i think it is coming to a reasonable level where it is going to be leveling out hopefully pretty soon so going into tomorrow and Monday, I think this one is definitely going to be quite flat and I would like to see this one see a bit of a pullback on Monday, bringing us ever so slightly higher. Talk about a specific price, I'm not going to mention too much about that one, but I would like to see it hit $2 in the next week. I think if we can hit $2 in the next week, I know that's very optimistic, but I think if we can get there, things are looking pretty good for this stock. I think even if Monday can remain pretty flat, that is also fantastic because with that sell-off, uh, if Monday is flat and even ever so slightly to the green, I think think it is an indication of this one coming back in strength as of course it shows that the sell-off is not as prevalent as it has been over the past five days so i think next week really does have that potential to be positive for sundial stock i know it's seen a big decrease in price this week let's face it guys a lot of stocks this week have seen a big sell-off anyway and sundial is no exception to be fair it's the stocks which have received a lot of hype in the past few weeks that have sold off the most and i think that is to be understood because i'm not trying to you know hate on anybody but let's face it a lot of people that get into these investments like sundial like galaxy next generation a lot of people do know what they're doing but on the other hand a lot of people just get into this one hearing that it's a stock that's going to explode and then they just buy into this one thinking that it's going to rock it and as soon as it goes down for one or two days they get a bit scared and sell out now i think that's obviously not necessarily a bad thing but i think people do need to be aware of that and sundial definitely does have that potential now going forwards into the future i think this sell-off was okay i think it was bound to happen ever so slightly but with the entire markets being down this week i think it has sped this sell-off up a little bit bringing us down a bit further than we needed to be but i think this one is definitely going to recover into next week the fundamentals are strong and of course yes the stock has seen a big pump in the past few weeks it's up a huge amount let's get a percentage on it from the price point of about 60 cent up until now we're up about 131 percent but realistically the company is now debt free and there's so many other things like that which are going for the company which in my opinion do justify this price of $1.53 and I even think that we could go even higher like I said hopefully to $2 and maybe even to $5 or $10 in the next year or two so like I said the potential is there with this one if you are willing to hold it for some time even in the short term I definitely think it could be a decent return on investment in the next week or two as this one definitely could rock it back up to two dollars talking specifically about that three dollar point though i don't think it is going to happen in the next week or two i think people may be expecting that but personally i don't think it is coming in the next week i think it could happen in the next one or two or three months i think maybe that sounds a bit far-fetched for some people but honestly it is a conservative estimate but i do think that in the next year this one absolutely will pass five dollars but i would love to hear what you have to say right now i think sundial is going positive next week but i'd love to hear what you guys think so please drop us a comment telling me what you think is going to happen in the next week I'm and what you are doing regarding this stock. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one, and I hope that you enjoy the rest of your weekend.